What we do on the experiment is we look at the effects of water and erosion on the banks of the river. Now, in real life, these experiments, if you were to do them at proper scale somewhere outside, they could take up anywhere from a few hundred years up to several thousand, if not uh, tens of thousands. So I'm going to switch it on and we shall see the river start to form. A couple of things are going to happen is we're going to actually get some erosion on those river banks and you'll notice there's trucks parked at various positions. Now I've put them on the outsides of the bends and the reason for that is that's where most of the velocity of the water goes. This section in particular is interesting because what we've got is quite a wide channel now. It's opened up and I'm not sure if you can see it but this has now become quite a dead spot in the water. There's not a lot of movement, there's not a lot of acceleration around the bend anymore and the course has taken on to here. Sometimes if you catch the light correctly, you'll see that you've got quite a high velocity and the top of the surface ripples. Now this is gaining a bit of velocity and it's now attacking that bank there. So I would suspect for too long we might lose that one and we shall end up with no flow around this bend whatsoever. Probably about, just about ready for this section here. We've just got this little bank. It's just about ready to overtop. That means that the walls are probably going to breach and we'll get flow over the top. And once that happens, then the damage can be quite significant and fairly rapid. As you can see on this side, it's starting to happen on this bank we're going to lose fairly soon. You also notice that the sediment is building up, it's forming banks, changing the direction of flow and over here we've actually change the whole course of our river from this meander to slightly more straighter river. This bend's managed to remain the same but we're now heading more or less down the centre of the channel to the other end. What can happen here is we get a build-up of sediment here and at the far end. That will give us a bow-shaped lake. Now, I don't know if people remember O-level geography, but I did it, and these are called oxbow lakes. That's how they're formed. You will end up with build up on here, build up on there, and you have that curved lake that just contains water. And now you've got a totally different direction for the river altogether, and I think we've even moved from our central channel over to the left. So that is basically our scaled down version of uh, maybe 10,000 years of river erosion in about five or ten.